Hey, just want to let y'all know that uh, the form OBS filing is due today, August 2nd, um, from FINRA. Now, this is due at noon, so at 11 o'clock Central my time, I'm going to be watching. That's like 23 minutes from now. Basically, what this filing is going to have uh, or be required to have reported is going to be this stuff right here. Securities underwriting, uh, report the market value of open contractual commitments to issuers at the quarter end net confirmed sales, including both registered and non-registered issuances not otherwise reported on the balance sheet, excluding U.S. Treasuries. Uh, financing commitments not included on items 3F or 3G, guarantees, unconsolidated VIEs. This is where it gets interesting. So section three, off balance sheet financing transaction. We have to have reverse repos and repo offset pursuant to ASC 210 2045 Report the gross contract value that was netted. B, transactions offset. Report the gross contract value of transactions that have been netted. Reverse repos slash repos to maturity. Report the gross contract value of, of uh, reverse repo or bonds borrowed contracts as a debit and the gross contract value of repos or bonds loaned as a credit. That word de-recognized from the balance sheet pursuant to ASC 860.1045. Now, D, securities borrowed versus pledge agreements. Report the gross collateral market value of non-cash securities borrowed and non-cash securities loan agreements did, uh, and non-cash securities loans agreements not included on the balance sheet. Reverse repo versus pledge agreements. Report the gross collateral market value of non-cash reverse repo and repurchase agreements not included on the balance sheet. Forward starting reverse repurchase and securities borrowing agreements. Report the dollar amount of cash the broker dealer has agreed to lend on forward starting reverse repo and securities borrowed transactions. Forward starting repurchase and securities lending agreements. Report the dollar amount of cash the broker dealer has agreed to borrow on forward starting repurchase and securities lending transactions. So as you can see, all of these are required to be reported in 20 minutes. We also have non-regular way settlement trades when issued securities, delayed delivery, delayed settlement, TBA transactions, TBA related fails, not included on the balance sheet. Other, report the gross, long, and short notational value of any other non-regular way settlement transaction, not otherwise included. Uh, we have foreign exchange reporting. Yeah, this is all due by noon. I didn't know if you guys were aware of this. I'll uh, link this form below. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens.